This is Jupiter Today for the 24th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today we've got seven Jupiter satellite events and five satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four. Europa starts today in quadrant one, heading east, having just moving behind Jupiter. Ganymede starts today in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. From zero hours 10 minutes to zero hours 19 minutes, Ganymede occults Callisto. It's an 8.8 .8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.342 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.208 magnitudes. And they're a good distance away from Jupiter, 101.05 arc seconds. At zero hours 27 minutes, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. From 315 to 317 UTC, Ganymede occults Europa. That's a 2.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.915 arc seconds. So it's just a graze with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.019 magnitudes and 67.39 arc seconds from Jupiter. At 457 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 423,545.7 kilometers. And at 6 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. From 603 to 611 UTC, Ganymede eclipses Europa. That's a 7.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.355 arc seconds and a magnitude flux drop of 0.465 magnitudes and a nice distance away 103.26 arc seconds with Ganymede and Europa being 69.27 arc seconds apart. And as you can see it's uh, one of those long shadows again. Here's Ganymede and here's Europa so it's a nice nice long shadow. At 835 Ganymede goes through a pair of Jove, and that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. That's 1,067,907.3 kilometers. At 910 UTC, the transit of Ganymede begins. At 1039, Io moves behind Jupiter. And at 12 hours UTC, EO is still moving behind Jupiter, going to be going into quadrant one, heading east. And Ganymede is now transiting, going into quadrant three, heading west. At 1247 UTC, the transit of Ganymede ends. At 1305 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. So you can see that Ganymede is first transiting and then its shadow goes on Jupiter from Earth's point of view. From 1332 to 1338, Ganymede eclipses Io. That's a 5.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.522 arc seconds. So that again is a little graze. 0.411 magnitude flux drop. But it's pretty close to Jupiter, 12.48 arc seconds with Ganymede and Io being 64.9 arc seconds apart. So today Ganymede either occults or eclipses all of the other three moons and that's just because that's how the alignment goes. Ganymede is definitely between the Earth and all four other moons and so we're going to have that kind of interaction. At 1356 UTC Io reappears from Jupiter's shadow and at 1642, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. By 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east, and Europa is just past its eastern elongation and gonna be moving into quadrant two, starting to head west. 
from 1839 to 1906 UTC, Europa eclipses Callisto. That's a nice long 26.5 minute event, but the impact parameter is 0.49 arc seconds, so that's pretty much a graze as well, with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.259 magnitudes, but it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, 252.83 arc seconds with Europa and Callisto being 74.05 arc seconds apart. And by zero hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west, along with Europa. Ganymede is over in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto continues in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. Here's EO and Europa and Ganymede Callisto, just what we saw. Here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, and you'll notice how incredibly symmetrical that is. And there's Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto, and I combine all of them and colorize them and get rid of the orbital lines to get that for today. And I really like that shape. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out, seeing what's happening over the next 24 hours at Jupiter. Maybe some days day some human eyes will actually see these events, but for now we just have to simulate it. There goes Ganymede's transit of Jupiter. Just crossed Earth's point of view. I'm going to be going between Jupiter and the Sun to cast a nice shadow. Io just passed in front of Callisto, and is going to soon be passing in front of Europa. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, first at 0 hours 26 minutes, the next at 10.22, and the last at 20.17 UTC. There was a new image posted. And there were no new papers and no new radio data. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, two minutes, 3.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 54 minutes, 47.2 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 129.941 degrees. The phase angle today, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 8.22 degrees. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 695,809,121 kilometers. And the distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,740,595 kilometers. The central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1, 52.7 degrees, CM2, 82.54 degrees, CM3, 3.1 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.46 UTC on the 24th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing and watching. Really appreciate it. 
You can send your comments and questions, suggestions for improvements, and any images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.